Welcome to Natalie Daily for December 23rd, 2015. Today we... Wait, the 23rd of December? Yeah. That means it's almost Christmas? Yeah. It's almost Christmas! Just a small PSA guys, stay tuned to the end of the video for an important announcement about the Netlink schedule for the next little bit. A couple weeks ago, it was rumored that AMD wouldn't actually be launching their dual GPU Fury card by the 2015 deadline they mentioned this summer, when they launched the rest of the 300 series lineup. Now AMD has confirmed that the Fury X2 or Gemini or whatever they're going to call it will launch sometime in 2016. Radeon Technologies Group, the graphics division, told Anatech they're planning for the release to line up with the launch of the VR headsets like the Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. As Anatech notes, this might be for the best, as multi-GPU configurations are kind of finicky for VR at the moment. You know what's also kind of finicky? AMD's release dates. Can you just launch your dang cards already? Gosh. Researchers at the University of Colorado have demonstrated what they claim is the first computer processor to transmit data using light rather than electricity. The chip actually uses both electricity and light, so it's being referred to as an electronic optical microprocessor. The really cool thing is that the scientists were able to design it using existing processes for silicon chips, rather than having to make a new process from scratch. Chips using a similar design could fetch performance anywhere from 10 to 50 times that of an electrical-only chip of the same size. Plus, saying light-based processor sounds way cooler anyways by default. And Google is planning on making a new messaging app that will answer your questions in a conversational style, using its powerful Google Now algorithms. The feature appears to be meant to directly compete with Facebook M, a helpful chatbot that Facebook is currently testing inside Messenger. The app will let you message a Google bot, but it will also serve as a vanilla messaging app, so you can switch between talking to your friends and a soulless machine. If you're the type of person who loves talking to soulless machines. Great news for you. It's time for... <laughs> wow, nice topical submission there. XE, a Ukrainian startup, has apparently made some breakthroughs in long-range wireless charging by using a wireless band under 100 megahertz, rather than the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth bands usually found between 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz. PC maker Gigabyte is apparently working on a VR headset with a developer called Three Glasses. So keep your eyes out for that. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, I, I can't. <laughs> Austrian skier Marcel Herscher was nearly taken out by a camera drone at a slalom race in Italy. Now the International Ski Federation has banned camera drones from its World Cup races. What? The drone was only doing what its pilot told it to do. Razer has added the Cortex game store to their Forge Android TV console, which includes all the assets from the company's purchase of Ouya earlier this year. Ouya. <laughs> Not sure that this is really going to help the Forge, but hey, can't blame them for trying. The processing box that will come with the PlayStation VR has been unveiled. We're still not sure what exactly is in it, but my guess is magical console elves that just make things better. Somehow. And Boston Dynamics has released a wonderful and kind of scary holiday video showing a woman dressed as Santa being kidnapped by big dog robots dressed as reindeers. Merry Christmas! I guess. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description below. The. Wait, 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 is that it? The what? The. Duh. Nah. Boxing week is coming up, so you know what that means. A new NCIX PC Gamer special made particularly for this occasion. Okay, you might not have known that's what that means, but Hey, now you do! The Boxing Week Gamer's special NCIX PC features premium components from ASUS and Corsair, is fine-tuned for excellent gaming performance, and has been rigorously tested to ensure stability and reliability. And as with any NCIX PC, all the components are customizable during the purchasing process. So click here or the link in the description for all the details. Now, for the PSA part of the video. Christmas is in a couple days. Didn't know if you know that, but 
anyway, there's not gonna be a net link this Friday. It's Christmas Day. It's a holiday, people. But there's also going to be no net link next Monday or Tuesday, the 28th and 29th. And the reason for that is our studio is a freaking mess. There are crazy stacks of boxes everywhere. And since we're pretty much constantly working on one video or another, we haven't really had time to clean properly. Although one person in particular is more to blame for that than others. <coughs> so we gotta take some time to organize our life, but Netlinked will be back on the 30th. So you won't be missing our immaculately beautiful faces for very long. I know it's hard, but you'll get over it. <laughs> All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on social media over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get out of here before the guys get mad at me for not having seen Star Wars yet. What? You're just the force. Why would you not watch Star Wars? I, I haven't gone to the movies in two years. Okay. Two years? That's yeah. a lifetime. Yeah, yeah.